Hey there, I'm going to show you my Hot Wheels Retro Collection. Well, it might be called Hot Wheels Retro Entertainment. Nowadays, it might be called Hot Wheels Replica. It started with five cars. It was pretty exciting. The first five cars that they did were uh, actually those two right there. Those are the original packages. You have the American Graffiti, 32 Ford. Knight Rider Kit. Oh, that was fantastic. I don't know about your generation, but it was really cool to get Kit. Those were two of the first cars that they released. Ghostbusters, this Ecto-1. Yep, this was in the very first batch. So was the Batmobile, the TV Batmobile. That's the one that I grew up with. Let's see, that's four cars. And then there's a fifth. Yeah, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo was the fifth one. This one right here, this packaging. It was a very first release. Those five models made up the Hot Wheels Retro line when it first started. Uh, I used to buy all of them. Now I just buy the ones I like. These ones are more recent. You probably have one of them. Especially that one. That was a pretty popular car right there. What's neat about the Hot Wheels Retro line? Uh, you've got TVs, TV cars, you got movie cars, video game cars, uh, cartoon cars. So many different cars. And it's just a fantastic display. Not only that, you know, you could put it on a peg or you can stand it up. It's got a nice flat bottom, so this way you can display it on a shelf. Unfortunately, uh, I guess Mattel's deciding they're not going to do that anymore. Now they're just on the packages like this. So I think I'm out. I'm Well, I've kind of been out anyways. I've only been picking up the certain ones that I wanted. Uh, there was other ones at the same time as this. I just wanted the Spider-Mobile. Pretty cool model. Now, right now, I'm filming this March of 2018, 2019. Uh, there's a couple new car I just picked these up to show you that the retro are not going to be on the, uh, you can't display them on a shelf no more. But you can hang them on a pig. Aquaman, these are two new models that they're going to have for the retro line. You have the Mira ship. Looks pretty cool, but uh, I only bought it to show you. Uh, I'm not going to keep it. I just bought this to show you that, you know what, uh, packaging's changed. Buy what you like, but uh, I don't like this packaging. And these are not cheap. These are like $5.50 in the store. Black Manta Submarine. If you're a fan, you know, it's all right. It's cool. So Aquaman has a couple models. But for me, uh, I only bought these to show you in the video. That's all. What other cars? Well, let's just talk about some of the uh, franchises that have been made into a retro. Of course, Halo. Get your video game. Got quite a few movies and video games. Uh, I don't think there's been actually a Fast and Furious video game, has there? Need for Speed. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one right there. Kona Sig, Agira, R. Three different models were in the Need for Speed line. I'll show you them later. GT Gran Turismo. Oh, yeah, got to have my Ford GT. Love that. Forza Motorsports. Uh, again, Ford GT. Now, there was, a, there was not just a one car in the line. This thing's falling. By the way, this one right here, oh, I'll show you that later. Let's keep it moving. Forza Motorsport right here. You had uh, this one. There's the GT again. And then this box set. There's the single or the box set. Let's see, what else do they have? Scooby-Doo, I showed you. Muppets, Jetsons, Peanuts. Oh, yeah. What's up, Snoopy? What else do we have? We're talking about cartoons, right? We have the Flintstones Flintmobile. The Simpsons Homermobile. What a cool piece of uh, diecast history. Now, some of them I've opened up. You can see the cars are down the aisle. Some of them I've opened up. So, in a minute, I'll be able to show you the ones I've opened up. I'll show you the close-ups of the cars as well. Emergency. A-Team. Miami Vice, Taxi, hmm, what's that? Oh yeah, Taxi, how'd you know? Uh, you know, they had some uh, Magnum PI, that was kind of a cool show. Uh, I never watched it too much. He has a very nice mustache, but son, you got this one? Oh, Ferrari, Hot Wheels don't make Ferrari no more? That was a cool piece. Son of Gun, Volkswagen. Let's see, Heart to Heart, the Brady Bunch. Got a couple models for the Brady Bunch. BJ and the Bear, oh yeah, Thunder Roller, Batmobile. I showed you the uh, Batman Batmobile. Well, they got, they've had all sorts of uh, Batman-related models. I'll be showing you those. 
movies, Guardians of the Galaxy. This was a modern one. Tommy Boy. Funny movie. Love that car. Footloose. Got the VW Bugs. They, someone said it's in the movie. Well, if you're going to do the VW Bug, you got to do a Herbie the Love Bug. Karate Kid. Nice classic. Let's see. Top Gun. Hmm. What do you think they're going to use for Top Gun? Uh, you probably, I don't know if you're going to guess correct, but Ferrari. That's a classic one. Ferrari, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's a definitely a classic car. A key scene in the movie. You got to have that one. There's two different ones for that. Beverly Hills Cop. That one's nice. That one's okay. I kind of like this one better. I'll show you close-ups in a little bit. Italian job. Got uh, some cars. Ghostbusters. There's a few different Ghostbusters. Back to the Future. We'll be looking at those. James Bond 007. Each of those packages is a different movie. Uh, two cars are actually the same, but different movies. I like that one. Now, if, if they, mm, I don't know, I'm going to have to really like the car if I'm going to buy it. Otherwise, I really like the packaging, too. You could stand them up. Let's see what else. Friday Night Lights. Beverly, oh, no, Beverly Hills, 90210. Luke just died. That's sad. I never watch this show, but you never like to hear about people dying. Simon and Simon, I never watched that show. Couldn't tell you a thing about it. Who knows if even if the cars were even cool. I don't know if you're a fan of the show. Oh, 1980 Dodge Macho Power Wagon. That's a pretty nice model. Also had some uh, space type releases. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Star Trek. Battlestar Galactica. Uh, this is not uh, space. Smokey and the Bandit. Of course, that's a classic car right there. Got your Firebird, your Eagle on the hood, and another nice truck. 75 Kenworth W900. Anchorman. Zoolander. Old school. Grease. Oh, I love these white wall tires. Stroker Ace. Stripes. Christine. Oh, I wonder what car that is. That's a nice one. Two Christines. I wonder what car that is. Oh, 67 Camaro. So, uh, let me go ahead and get my cars ready, and I'll show them up close. Coming up next. Okay, let's get with it. I have all three of the cars that were released for Need for Speed. Now, I might not necessarily have all the sets of all the different ones, but uh, I figure if I do it this way, if you like Need for Speed, well, I'll, at least I'll show you them in sets. The most popular one is... That one right there, the Koenigsegg. Here's a quick look at it in the package. And then I'll show it to you loose. Now, um, I'm going to be selling the cars, my extras. Uh, they're going to be on eBay. The link is down in the description below. Uh, don't post any comments for sales. Uh, follow the links, please. I have a loose sample, so I don't need to keep the one. Well, I might keep one in the package. I don't know. I have extras. But this is definitely the, uh, I think this is the most expensive one to acquire. Uh, that mo th This Mustang right here, this one's not cheap to pick up either. I don't have an open one, but I'm going to let it go. It's not exactly my favorite. It does have a license plate decoration. Uh, the metal wing is part of the body, the metal spoiler. Rubber tires, metal base. Let's go ahead and flip it over so you can see the base. There it is, name right on the base. Well, it just shows the licensing. It doesn't show the actual full name of the car. This is definitely a very cool one to have for the collection. 2014 Custom Mustang. You can see the decorations in the back, up over the top. Rubber tires. And the stripe goes all the way across the, the uh, top. I'm not positive if this has a metal base, though. These definitely have rubber tires. Almost all of them have rubber tires. Some of them don't have wheels at all, but we'll talk about that in a second. 67 Pontiac GTO has tail lights and headlight decorations. The Fast and Furious is definitely a very popular franchise. I do not believe I own all the cars because I don't, I just don't, it's not my thing, okay? But the Nissan Skyline is very popular. This one, not so much. The 70 Dodge Charger RT, 
this is this is what Mattel started doing, and this is one reason why I started to back off. Same exact car, they really re reissue it, re reissue, they reissue it, but see, look, the packaging, oh, just slightly different. As far as I know, the cars are exactly the same in both package, and I'm not going to open them both up. I already opened one. I don't remember which package I got this one out of, but it's a uh, it's a flat black or matte black, if you'd like to say either one. It does have a license plate. I had to turn off a light and cast a shadow, otherwise uh, it, the light just lights it up. Rubber tires, metal base. There's a look at the details. Uh, I like this car, so uh, I'm glad I opened it up. I'm, I enjoy having it open, but as far as the uh, package samples, uh, I don't know if I'm going to need a package sample. I don't know which one of the Fast and Furious packages I'm going to keep, just to have a uh, package sample. I might not keep any of them. Well, I'll keep one. I'm not sure which one. But this one's, this one's definitely one that people are uh, more likely to collect, the Nissan Skyline. Very popular for collectors nowadays. I'm not going to show the base each time because it's gonna, the video is already long as it is. And last but not least, or oh, maybe least in some people's minds, you have your uh, 08 Dodge Challenger SRT8. If you play video games, then you know about Gran Turismo and Forza Motorsport. You actually have a Hot Wheels Forza version. Ford GT is my uh, favorite licensed model to collect. If you like the Hot Wheels car culture, they've released the uh, 16 Ford GT race in this version. This is in the retro packaging, and this one is in the car culture packaging. I'll go ahead and show this one to you up close real quick. I'm going to get this one in the package for now. Car culture, another line. You know what? I'm just going to pick the individual cars that I like. And with this one right here, uh, I'm looking at this set. Sorry for the bad angle. That was it. I only picked up the GT. Didn't particularly care for the others. On top is that car culture release on bottom. This is the retro version. Just to show you how they were decorated differently. Now I like the Ford GT. I did buy the race. I do buy the race versions. But this is my favorite Ford GT. I'll buy every color of this version. But the race version, mm, no thank you. Uh, I just picked up a couple for samples. And those others were red, white, and blue, so I had to pick those up. But this one, I love the big fat rubber tires. This one was actually available also in this uh, little box set. Uh, I like it. That displays very nicely, so I picked it up. On the back, it shows all five of the models. Now, uh, I, w I got it for the box because I like the GT, but I did not buy any of these on the side. You have the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. All these rubber tires, I believe they're metal, and I'm pretty sure they have metal bases as well. But you can't quote me on that, okay? And let's see, here you have the Porsche 356 Speedster. And last but not least, kind of cool cars, all right. 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car. These were available in singles too, not just this box set. Same thing with this 17 Ford GT. Came in a box set. Have I opened this one? Oh, I have not opened up this one. Uh, I did not buy any of these singles. I'm looking. Nope, I did not buy any of these. 70 Ford Falcon. There's the GT. Over here, you got the Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint GTA. Now, I'll admit that Giulia is nice. I'm just going to let it go. The 12 Camaro ZL1 Concept. And Lamborghini Gallardo LP 570-4 Super Leggera. The Halo video game has a following, but mm, these did not sell very well. Uh, I think uh, this might have been one of the things that uh, I said Mattel they can send me. I checked them out on the Race Grooves Weekend Show. I don't do that show anymore, but you can see it has uh, rubber tires. There was a basic release. This is a basic car. And this is a nice uh, adult collectibles version, rubber tires, metal base, metal body. Very cool. I mean, this sample is fine for a toy, but if you want something a little extra, this was very cool. Here you have the U, no, here you have this one right here. Now, that other one was the UNSC Warthog. This one right here is the Gun Goose. It has extra decorations. This has not been in the basics. 
And you don't get uh, these types of models anymore in Hot Wheels. Here you have the UNSC Scorpion. That's that one right there. And it did have some mobility in the model itself. Pretty nice. The Warthog did have this urban release, a camouflage. Uh, I don't I don't remember. I picked it up. I like it. It's kind of cool. I don't remember exactly where it came from. I don't think it was part of a set or anything. Covenant Ghost. This one, it's all right. If you like the game, then it's kind of neat to get this kind of stuff. Banished Wraith. Again, I'm not going to open it up because it's not for my collection. These I'm definitely going to let go. And I already showed you that one. I don't have all of the Back to the Future models, but I have most of them. It was very nice to get the Time Machine in an adult collectibles release. Metal base, metal body, rubber tires. Got yourself a Toyota pickup. Mr. Fusion. Ford Super Deluxe. What is that on top? Well, if you know, I, already, I, have, I actually have the prototype for that one. If you want to check out that video. Time Machine Hover Mode. Hey, I said it right. And Back to the Future, 1955. Love those tires. I'm a fan of white wall tires, so I definitely like this release. I'm not positive if it's actually in the movie like this, but that's all right. Time Machine Hover Mode. I did open up one of these. Let me check it out. Neat little display piece. The only thing, uh, it does not have rubber tires. It, it's just uh, molded into the base, but at least it did come with this stand. And if you're a fan of the movie, definitely one to have. Time Machine Mr. Fusion, another variation of the DeLorean. And this one actually is Zamac, and it's not painted, just bare metal with clear coat on there. I said I had the uh, prototype of the Super Deluxe, but you can just check out that video. It doesn't make sense for me to uh, drag it out again. Back to the Future Time Machine. Is this one uh, the same? Uh, I think that's the first one that I showed. Just give you a close-up. It does not have the Mr. Fusion part. And here you have the 1987 Toyota pickup. I think I'm going to keep one of these. Uh, I haven't opened one up, but... Uh, that's something that, that I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to keep an open version. There are more James Bond's models than I can get in one shot. So I'll just split them into two since there's basically only two card versions. The 1963 Aston Martin DB5 did get released in two of the lines. But as you can see, their colors are different. I'm really glad that the Aston Martin has joined the Hot Wheels lineup. I love collecting the Aston Martins. This one is the DB10, the Aston Martin DBS, the Aston Corvette. Okay, I'm just kidding. Here's a model I love to collect, the 71 Mustang Mach 1. I get almost every color variation that they release. How we else has the Lotus Esprit in their lineup, the Lotus Esprit S1. But this one they released for the movie, right? It's got these uh, wings because it goes underwater. So they did release this one right here. And it's it's not just a casting change. They had to tool it up totally differently. Uh, I had looked at them before. I forget the exact uh, total differences. Uh, I don't remember checking this out to see these moving actually before. Uh, but these are little uh, rudders for it to steer underneath the water. Kind of a cool little collectible. And the last one for James Bond is the Toyota 2000 GT Roadster. Details on the rear and on the side. It probably doesn't have any in the front. Nowadays, uh, the adult collectibles, they're putting decorations on the front as well, but you're paying like a $2 premium. Pretty cool, it has inserts for the headlights. Take a look at the interior. You have your right hand drive. Again, rubber tires. Let's jump up a little bit, show some of the current stuff. Milano, and then I'll get to the older releases. I see it comes with a little stand. The stand is very cool and it says right on there, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. There's a close-up. Now, this was released in the basics. And the basics, the stand, the stand was just kind of plain. Does not have the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy name on there. Another difference that they did is on the premium version, you have decorations right here, right there, and underneath. While the uh, basic version, you can see no decorations in the back and no decorations underneath. 
I'll go ahead and show these three more recent models as well. You have your uh, Spider-Mobile, the Beetle's Yellow Submarine, and of course, the Gas Monkey Corvette. Spider-Mobile, fun stuff, little doom buggy. Uh, on top you have the Spider-Man decorations. You can see the, uh, like his costume, the webbing. Uh, I had to have this one. You have the yellow submarine. Man, this one I probably could have done without. It does have uh, more metal than the basic release from Mattel. And the 68 Corvette for Gas Monkey Garage. What a cool looking piece. Uh, in the basics, they had a gold version, but it did not have these rubber red line tires. This one, metal base. The basic version has a plastic base. And you do have decorations in the rear. The Simpsons, the Homer. It's also been a basic release. This is the premium version. You can see on top, it's been uh, decoed on top, right here on the side. Let me see what else. Oh yeah, the bubble in the back has green on top. By the way, oh, headlights, uh, there's a basic. The basic has headlights as well. But the main difference is this one has a uh, plastic base. And this one's metal. You can see how it's not shiny at all. Here's the plastic base of the basic version. I mean, it's all right for a buck, right? And here is the metal base version. Rubber tires. Of course, the basic version is going to have plastic tires. There you have the uh, five spoke basic wheels. In the back, tail lights. You can see all those. Oh, even, uh, even the spare tire. And over here, uh, no, no decos at all on top. By the way, you can find this uh, kind of clear or this one's a smoky window variation. Has a Hot Wheel logo there. Any Hot Wheel logos here? Nope. Anyways, there you have the Homer. Another cartoon, the Flintstones with the Flintmobile. Man, they sure have a lot of people packed in there. But if you notice, there's a front row of people. You see the bench seat and then you see it in the back. They're in the back seat. But the car itself, or the model, <laughs> well, you know, actually there is a basic car release of this as well. It's pretty different. Uh, I don't know if I opened one up. Well, I found it. I did open up a basic version. I'm not going to open up this, but that's nah, okay. I like it for the card art. I'll do a close-up real quick. Uh, but I, I even have this sample. This one's better. You can see it has the front row and the back row. This was like a, uh, a premium, I mean a promotion, I think of, I don't <laughs> before, it came out before I started collecting. But anyways, this one's a color shifters version. Uh, the, the drums right there actually change colors. It looks like the wheels are yellow underneath. Uh, I highly doubt they are real riders or rubber tires, but uh, here is the basic version. You have the plastic yellow tires. Uh, basically, all they did is give it extra decorations. Um, that's all they did. Pretty much uh, not a whole lot different. Hey, check out Woodstock. Woodstock's trying to hang on. I opened up a Snoopy and it was in the basics as well. I must have taken Snoopy off before because he wasn't pushed all the way into the roof. Now I got him uh, all the way in. And I'm looking at this. Mm, looks like the same exact Snoopy. Maybe it's a little tilted, but same one. Anyways. Rubber tires, metal house, metal base. This one has a metal house, plastic tires, plastic base. It's fine, one dollar, right? No problem for a uh, basic car. In the front, oh, hey, we got decorations in the front. Love the treads on the tires. Got chrome rims, mm, nothing particularly in the back. Uh, I really like having Snoopy in my collection. Now, does this uh, rubber version really have that much more value? Eh, it's all right. You know, it's all right. <laughs> what can I say? It's just all right. You know, sometimes you can't be happy with everything. Uh, no, sorry, you're not getting uh, rubber tires. Get out of here. The Jetsons. That's about as good as I can get. This one's quite different than the basic car. The basic car had wheels, whereas the capsule car, look, it actually flies around. It doesn't have wheels. That's why I said... Almost all retro cars have rubber tires. This one has the same name, the Jetsons capsule car. <laughs> I don't know why they call this one a car. Well, I guess it's a transporter. Maybe they should have called it a, cap, a Jetsons uh, transporter. 
Let me go ahead and show you the inside. Two bench seats. It's hard to take video with the uh, uh, dome because the lights just reflect. Uh, you know what? They did decorate the dashboard and the gear stiff. This one, the basic release, uh, nothing. The uh, shape of the body is the same. The base is definitely different because this one was designed to have wheels and this one not. So you go, oh, I forget. I'm not even going to try again. Sometimes it, it's, it's easy to put on. But, uh, and it's another nice thing to display, kind of if you like that type of stuff. You know, just like the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, you can display them together. If you notice, all the ones I showed recently, they only had one release. That was it. And same with this one, the Muppet School Bus. It does have rubber tires. It says Electric Mayhem on the side. Um, it does have decorations in the back. No license plate. It has a spot for it. But uh, I think... Uh, was Electric Avenue a uh, Sesame Street production? I'm not sure. There you have the uh, school bus for the Muppets. Scooby-Doo the Mystery Machine. And this is the one that was the very first package. And you can see they reissued it again with a different artwork. I have looked at the cars up close and I don't notice any differences. I do have a loose sample and it's another one that did have a basic release. It's a smaller model. I can fit both on the screen. Uh, this has rubber tires. These are plastic tires. Let me face them the same way, in the same direction, so we can compare them. Now, if you notice a difference in the color, it could just be from the printing. Because even these, when you look at these two, this one's a little bit darker, this one's lighter. It could just be from the uh, when they paint them. It might not be an actual change. I'm not sure. Decoration is the same. Oh, I've got decorations in the back. License plate, AC1712. I think it says 712. Here's the other side. And the front. See, here's, here's what you get with the retro. It's all right. See, this is what you're paying for, right? Rubber tires, metal base, regular version at plastic base. On top, you have decorations. So, very nice. I was checking. It looked dark. I thought I was missing the windshield. But uh, on the inside, same color interior. There's those two. By the way, the uh, mystery machine has been available in Mattel's pop culture line. Here's a pop culture release. There's a quick peek at the card. Mm, different than the other two. It did have decorations, just like the retro release. Oh, got different deco on the side. Different wheels. Same decos on the, in the rear. And these pop cultures, they, did, they do have metal base. Metal base, metal body, and rubber tires. I still have over 60 models to share, as well as over a dozen of them that I've opened up. Coming up after the break. Christine, what an iconic movie. You know, to be honest with you, I didn't even see it. I don't recall seeing it before until like last year. Wow, you know what? The special effects were pretty cool for the time. While they used the same graphics on each one, this one has red flames and this one has blue. This, of course, is the main character in the movie, Christine. The 58 Plymouth. Love these wings right here. Love the white walls. Now, almost every brand of toy company has done Christine. I did not look up the license plate. I assume that's authentic. Detailed metal base and rubber tires. Metal, metal, metal base, metal body. And like I said, rubber tires. And there you can see the front. I do not remember the Camaro being in the movie, but uh, sure is fine as a collectible. This was released when the Camaro still had an opening hood, so that's definitely a plus if you want to seek this one out. Painted grill, uh, no headlights, rally stripes on the hood. It's not Zamac, I don't know if you could tell, it's kind of like a uh, pewter type paint job. Metallic, you can see the Goodyear tires and uh, metal base. It's not as detailed as other cars, but at least it has some detail. No license plate, but it does have brake light decorations. It looks like it might also have silver trim around the windows. If you're a Camaro collector, uh, do you have this one already? Here we have Knight Rider, two cars. Uh, now that I think about it, I think there was a third one, actually. Kit Knight Industries 2000. I think that's what it stands for. But over here you have a car, and no, I don't remember what the acronym stands for. K 
kit's definitely an iconic vehicle when it comes to movie vehicles or uh, TV, I should say. It does have uh, taillight printing. It does have a uh, dash, because remember Kit, if you know the, the show, Kit had this room, room, or he, actually the dash has a bunch of stuff, but in front, it had like a, a red laser that was swinging left and right. It's kind of hard to see it, but uh, yeah, you you can see it. Maybe if I, can, yeah, you, go. you can see some uh, red right there. Uh, Kit, and I think uh, Carr, I think Carr was his evil, or alter ego, if I do recall. Um, is it the same car? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is the same same tooling, same car. Sorry, I just uh, casually enjoyed the show back in the day. Didn't study what the actual car was. Uh, the reason why this one has a price tag, I don't know why. Back in the day, I used to get the sealed cases and do the uh, unboxing videos on YouTube. And uh, for some reason, I did not get the second assortment, just like the uh, Sesame Street uh, bus. Was it Sesame Street? Uh, no, the Muppets. The Muppets bus was part of this wave. So I had to buy this uh, later on. I don't know why I did not get that case, but oh well. I got a car. Friday Night Lights, the Chevy Silverado. Uh, I opened one up when I did the unboxing video. I had to look it up because I don't even know if it was this a TV show or a movie. And even though I looked it up, I forgot already. Uh, I looked it up a couple days ago. I filmed half of this video and then I uh, started the editing. And then uh, now I'm doing the last half. So I've already uh, done forgot. And look, you can see the uh, Bronco, not Bronco. <laughs> you can see the uh, decal right there, the logo. There's the base. There's your uh, drivetrain. Ooh, Mark, you remember the a part. Love these wheels. Really big fan of these types of wheels. And the Chevy Silverado has definitely become uh, a collectible lately. The last uh, quite a few years, it's definitely become one of the more expensive ones to acquire. And not only that, anytime the Chevy Silverado is in an assortment, this is the one that uh, always gets uh, hoarded up. I'm pretty sure that Friday Night Lights was a TV show. Let's do another TV show. Emergency. This actually might not be an exact replica of what they used in the TV show. Mattel basically just used the tooling uh, for Rapid Responder. Is it Responder? Yeah. Rapid Responder. There you have it. Squad 51. Beep, beep, beep. And there they go. Off to the emergency. Of course, this is an older piece. So this is metal body. Metal base. Made in Malaysia. HW, rapid responder. Love when they got tread on the tires. Let's take a look at the back. There you have it. Rescue squad, number 51. Los Angeles County Fire Department. Even if this isn't exactly uh, the same... Uh, paramedic unit that they used in the show i love the release it's a nice memento from a show that i used to watch a lot i think the rockford files came out after emergency or i should say is a not as old as the emergency show but when i was a teenager this is a this is a show that i really like to watch probably in my early teens i should say uh my mom, oh does that have an opening hood Mm, I don't think uh, Hotbird has an opening hood, but old, uh, what is it, James Garner? I think that was the actor. Uh, I really enjoy this show. Speaking of TV shows, the A-Team. I think this was another one that was in that second batch. I, I had to pick this one up. Uh, I might have actually found this one in the stores. Uh, I'm pretty sure I found this one in the store. Seeing as the package is pretty good, corners are pretty good, I'm almost positive that I picked this up in the store. Mattel did release a basic version in the uh, $1 lineup. There's like a grill in the front, a push, push guard, uh, good, rich tires. Mattel did release a basic version, which is just fine as well, but if you can get it with rubber tires, why not? I forgot, there was two vehicles for the A-Team. 
I do not remember the Corvette in the show. Uh, so I don't even know if this is the right Corvette. Has no have no idea. But it does have decorations in the back. It has red interior. I like the wheels. It has this uh, red stripe going all the way around. Uh, by the way, the 80s Corvette, at a glance, it looks like the same model that they used for the uh, James Bond Corvette. They sure look the same to me. Here's another show that I used to catch every episode. I watched it recently, and I don't think it holds up very well. I think back in the day, I probably liked it more for the music and the style than the actual storylines. That being said, it, it sure did start a fad with the wearing uh, white jackets. Here you have the Ferrari F512M. Not a whole lot of decorations. There's the Ferrari logo on the hood. That's the only details. Mm, that might be a detail on the side. There's your brake lights. Again, the Ferrari logo on the back. You have some brake lights. This, this tooling is not looking very good. It looks like uh, the tooling's wearing out. I don't know if they cleaned it up on later releases. And here's a look at the base, if you'd like to check it out. There's the code F17M. I don't feel like doing the math. You can do the math. When was this, when was this produced? And yes, rubber tires. There you go, rubber tires. Pro circuit wheels. Now the other Ferrari, the uh, 365 GTS 4 Daytona Spider. No details on the interior, but it actually has pretty good details for a, a plastic part. Ferrari logo on the trunk. Brake light decorations. Rubber tires. Door handle printing. There's a look at the graphics in the front. Too close. Camera's messing up. So you got headlights and turn markers. And like I said, once again, metal base. The Miami Vice franchise definitely got a good pair of cars. Two Ferraris! And Mattel hasn't produced Ferraris in years. I don't, I don't know if Mattel's going to get the license back or not. We're sticking with TV shows. Here you have Taxi, a 74 Checker Taxi Cab. I did not check to see if this model has been used more than just this release. Uh, you know, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, I don't know, was it uh, one and done? Or did it get used for something else? A bit of a close-up on the decorations on the side. No lights. They did not put the license plate name or number. Same deco on the other side. The base, there you have it. Checker Marathon Cab. Let me know if it's been used somewhere else too. Magnum PI, three different releases. Uh, card art's all the same. I thought I opened up a Son of Gun. Uh, I don't know where it is. Never opened up the Island Hopper, but I did open up a Ferrari. And for those of you who are saying, why'd you open it up? You just lost value. Well, you can appreciate it so much more when you open it up and take it out of the package. Uh, that's the truth. Keeping them in the package. It's so sterile. How, how can you, I mean, uh, close your eyes. You don't have any, you can't appreciate it at all. You can't appreciate any weight, any details. Nothing to appreciate when you keep it in the package. Yeah, they display nice. Yes, I'm going to keep some in the package. But I like to collect them loose. Some stuff I have in the package, I have a lot of stuff loose. You know what, if you check Instagram, a lot of people open up their stuff and enjoy it. Even uh, even on Facebook. Uh, Race Grooves Community on Facebook. It says the name on the base as well. And then you guessed it. Metal base, rubber tires. I sure wish that Mattel would get the Ferrari license back. I have a couple hundred for Ferrari models. Here's another one for the Heart to Heart TV show, Ferrari Dino 246 GTS. Off the top of my head, I wonder if this was the same Ferrari that was in a uh, Bruce Wayne box set in black. It just rang a bell all of a sudden, Ferrari Dino. Uh, there was one in a uh, Bruce Wayne box set with uh, three cars, I believe. It was in black. I'm not positive if it's the same model. There's another Ferrari for the collection. Maybe for you, too. Might be going. Here's an iconic TV show, The Brady Bunch. The 71 Plymouth Satellite Wagon, Station Wagon. Taillight decorations, white striped tires. Uh, they did deco the uh, luggage rack on top. 
Mm, I'm not sure if this is a casting that they've uh, they still use in some of their issues. Uh, it's, it reminds me of some of the cars that, because it's uh, kind of wide in the back. I don't know what's, what it's reminding me of, but uh, I'm not sure if that one's still around. It's 56 Chevy. I do not remember this in the show. Definitely, you can't forget the uh, station wagon. 56 Chevy, convertible, white wall tires, some taillight decorations, white interior, clear windows, and uh, you got your lights in the front as well. I don't remember this from the show, but uh, if you like uh, Chevys, I'm sure you got a few. BJ and the Bear, Thunder Roller. Let me tell you, this is a heavy piece. Uh, and it's cool. You got uh, triple axles because it's a, a big rig. Uh, really heavy. Metal body, metal base. Rubber tires, as always, with these. Uh, this one, too bad it didn't have plastic tires. I'd like to give it a race. Since I just showed the big rig, let's go ahead and move on to a movie. 75 Kenworth W900 for Smokey and the Bandit. But you guys probably remember this one. 77 Pontiac Firebird. That iconic logo on the hood. There you go. This is another car that's been issued. Lots of brands have had this car issued. So, the, But some people, they just like Hot Wheels. They don't care if it's by another brand. They want it to be made by Hot Wheels. So for those collectors, this is definitely good for their collection. For me, I don't care the brand. Just make a nice piece. 75 Kenworth W900. And if you're wondering if it's the same, no, it's not the same truck as the Thunder Roller. You look at the back, the uh, sleeper cab, definitely a lot bigger. It is not the same model. Uh, this one right here has had very few releases. Uh, they've used it in pop culture. Uh, so, this is definitely a better decoration if you're going to want to get this model. Uh, unfortunately, it's uh, more expensive to acquire nowadays. But it is definitely one of the better decorations to have. It might have been Looney Tunes or something in pop culture. But if you're a collector, uh, maybe you want something classy like this. Beverly Hills 90210 65 Mustang. Uh, if you don't like the show, well, maybe you just get the Mustang and get it out of that package. Well, that's a drag. I just noticed I forgot to turn on part of my microphone. So I'm going to have to use the audio from the camera. I hope it hasn't been too bad. That's a lot to reshoot. Uh, I, I just want to, I want to move on. This thing, I've worked so long on this. I've been working all week on this, getting all these things together, kind of making them in some type of order, making a nice uh, display when I had them on the table. White wall tires. Uh, yeah, this is when it still had an opening hood. No longer. Another uh, degradation or cost savings to the model. Is that right side up? I don't think so. There you go. 65 Mustang. It might look like plastic tires, but they're rubber. Unless I'm mistaken, these are the last three TV show cars that I'm going to show. Simon and Simon. Three different uh, card arts. Let's just get to it. 1980 Dodge Macho Power Wagon. Yep. This is another casting that is collectible. Uh, there's more people who like to collect it than uh, is produced. So when it comes to supply and demand, uh, the supply is smaller than the amount of demand for this model. Uh, last I checked, I don't know, it might, might have changed, but again, there's the type of wheels that I like. Big, big rubber tires. That one's in red. Let's go ahead and check out this red model. You have your 1985 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z. There's your decorations. And uh, has a painted hoop painted roof. I don't remember if this model has a plastic part and then they paint it to look like that. Uh, I don't recall. But there's your tail, tail decorations. Like the tires though. You know me. Big rubber tires. Goodyear tires. And 1957 Chevy Bel Air convertible. More white wall tires. I like how they have the trim around the windows. That goes in the front. You can see the metal base. That goes on the side. 
And there's your Chevy logo on the tail. There it is. Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy. 77 custom Dodge van. Pretty neat, they got this roof piece. It's a separate plastic piece. Um, I don't know if it pops off. I did the review. Uh, I have no idea. It doesn't matter. There's your grill. And there's, I think that's the station logo in the front. Rubber tires. Detailed metal base. Treads on your wheels. And again, logos in the rear. That's painted. <laughs> that's not plastic. They cheated. Made it look like windows. That's painted. There, there you go. Zoolander 67 Ford Bronco. I do have one opened up. I don't know if i ever seen the movie. It's kind of silly. It's a spoofy type movie. Uh, I'm pretty sure my wife likes to watch it. It does have a license plate. I like these are the types of tires I like. Big knobby tires. You can see the knobs right there. Big knobby tires. There's your base. Ford Bronco. Black interior, no details. You do have a license plate details. And they did get the headlight details in there. This black, uh, this grill is painted. I thought it might be a plastic piece. But uh, to be honest with you, I can't squish it. Uh, that part's metal. I just showed the anchor man with the 77 custom Dodge van. Old school, has the same model, but this one had the special piece on top. Once again, they cheated just a little bit. That's not a teardrop window right there. That's just a uh, painted decoration. That's all right. Unless you get up close, you can't tell. And now that I'm looking at the roof, I can see a line. I can see a line right there. Uh, so this part is like an insert. This part's like an insert. Mm, I'll bet you that's plastic. I uh, don't know for sure. I'm not going to open this one up. There you go. Another van. Grease is the word, is the word, have you heard? 48 Ford with lightning bolts, not to be confused with the grease lightning. Again, uh, something I like to collect, big white wall tires. They have printing on top of the wind, on top of the windows. Ah, uh, windshield, sorry. Metal, grill, got little tail light decorations. Grease lightning, this is a cool little model. I'm definitely keeping one of these. Firestone decorated wheels, convertible, looks like a custom uh, car. I do not remember this from the show, to be honest with you. I, I do like the model. People get mad at me, how come you don't know about the cars? You know what? I like to collect uh, toy cars. I appreciate your help when you educate me about the real ones. Stroke race, uh, you know what? I, I'm pretty sure I opened this one up because I did a comparison video. It's the T-Bird Stalker model. Mm, I don't remember anything about the... I don't know anything about this show, about the uh, movie. Uh, it was, I'm pretty sure it was a movie in the theaters. This is, this, this is not a, an expensive one to acquire. Stripes, that's a fun movie. They use the GMC Motorhome. Pretty cool car graphics. The model itself. We have not seen, uh, they do not use the GMC motorhome tooling hardly at all nowadays. It used to be in the basics. They used to, it just used to be a regular car in the basics, even with the uh, triple axle. But uh, with cost cutting measures, I don't know, maybe they just have enough other fun stuff to use. We don't get to see this one that much anymore. American Graffiti, two releases. And remember, I told you this one was in the first batch. That's the 32 Ford. And if you look at it, it's the old tooling. The new tooling, it looks different right here. The new tooling for the basics, basics they have like a metal part that pops out right here and holds down the engine. It looks kind of odd, but that's okay, whatever. It's a dollar car. But if you want something nicer, then uh, pick up some one of the older ones before they did their uh, cost uh, or tooling modifications. 58 Impala, the, you know the Impala, that's one thing that people would complain on my Johnny Lightning videos. How come Johnny Lightning does so many Impalas? I don't know, couldn't tell you. <laughs> but anyways, this one's a Hot Wheels model of the 58 Impala. Paula. Ah, it looks pretty good. 
Beverly Hills Cop, you have one for the uh, first movie and one for the sequel. Even though the 68 old cutlass convertible is nice and clean for the sequel, uh, I definitely like the 68 Chevy Nova. I like the tires. I like the paint job. Let me see if I can cast a shadow on it. It's like a uh, weather decoration. And there's lots of customizers. They like to do that. They like to give it a weather treatment. For a mass market piece, uh, I definitely like the 68 Nova. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the Ford F-250. Ah, you got to watch the movie. <laughs> it's nothing like what it is in the movie as far as uh, that tone. But if you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Department of Water and Power printing on the side with a Ford on the front. Uh, they did do the headlights. It has metal grill, which is obviously going to be part of the base. Plain black wall tires like a, a normal car, normal truck would have. No license plate, brake lights on the base. It says F-250. Yep, F-250. Very, very plain base. I do not remember this in the movie, but it is. it sure is a nice truck. Star Trek USS Enterprise NCC-1701. You know, I had grabbed a basic release. This is in the basics as well. I don't know what happened to it. I was walking around. I don't know where I put it. Well, I just want to move on. I, I believe it has extra details compared to the regular uh, basic release. It has a nice black stand. The only thing, I, I do believe people were complaining that this was plastic. If you're going to make a metal model, why don't you make these uh, metal as well? Pretty sure those were plastic. That being said, I'll probably keep this one for the collection. It's nice to display, as opposed to the newer style packaging. Uh, here you have another outer space, or space uh, type movie. Actually, it was the TV show, I think it was. Battlestar Galactica. Well, you know what, this one says 35th anniversary. I don't know if this was in the real original show or was in the movie afterwards. I don't know. Battlestar Galactica, Colonial Viper. I'll give you a quick look at it. And we'll go ahead and look at the Cylon Raider. This one has some weight to it. This is metal. Definitely has some weight to it. Uh, I don't know if it has a stand. Uh, it does look like there's some type of stand or something back there. I'm not sure. This one? Uh, you know what? I don't think this one has a stand. It's got legs as if when it's landing. But I don't, I don't know if it has a stand to display it. I don't know. You've been looking at it this whole time. Tommy Boy the Movie, 67 Plymouth Belvedere, GTX. Funny, funny movie. Oh, my wife gets mad because I keep backing it up to watch the funnier bits. Really nice color. Love the, sorry for the glare. Really nice color. Let's go quick, get past that light. There you go. Rubber tires, chrome hubs, and uh, detailed headlights. Footloose and the Love Bug. Uh, we'll just show these at the same time. Same car, different movies. Volkswagen Beetle actually is the name. Mm, apparently, people are saying, is that in the movie? Apparently, it is in the movie. That's why, uh, that's why they issued it. And this guy, <laughs> you definitely know her be the Love Bug. Number 53, there's his uh, racing rally stripes up over the top. This one definitely has been made in lots of uh, collectibles as well. But if you're a Hot Wheels fan, then of course that's the one you're gonna wanna own. Karate Kid 48 Ford Super Deluxe. I did a comparison video with the, uh, it looks a lot like the, the model that was in the Back to the Future. Biff's car, another one great for the collection. Fat white wall tires, silver trim. You do have uh, tail light decorations. Printing on this back, on the side. Mm, nothing in the front. You have a, a natural color interior, but uh, definitely love those white wall tires. If you are still here, <laughs> the Top Gun, what, what vehicle do you think that was going to be when I said earlier? Well, it's a vehicle, but there you go. Kawasaki Ninja GPZ900R. There's a quick look at the artwork on the package. Let's go ahead and take a look at the model itself. I don't collect very many motorcycles. 
And we'll keep one of these for the collection. In the package, we'll not be opening it up. Looks pretty good, though. I'll be honest, I did like collecting the Honda Z Monkey. Uh, that's a pretty cool bike, too. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, another classic movie. Oh, yeah, another Ferrari, too. The Ferrari 250 California. Rubber tires, metal body. Uh, you know metal base. You can see the decorations. Yeah, I'm going to keep one of these uh, for me. I'm going to keep it on a, in the package. But uh, maybe you'll pick up one of the extras that I let go. I don't know when you'll be watching this video. I don't even know. Maybe I'll, they'll be sold out by the time you get there. I have no idea. It's going to take me a little while to sell them. Not a long while, because most of these, I just have a couple extras. There are some that have a lot of extras. But uh, you'll have to act fast if you want one of the ones that uh, came from my collection. No, I'll let this one go. I, I like this in the basic version. Basic car, I'll give this one a, a race down the track. These were hiding behind the Ghostbusters packages. You know, they released three colors of the Morris Mini. You can see them on the well, card art. Let's get them in order. Uh, there you go. That's how it's supposed to be. White, red, and blue. I hope I said Morris Mini. Uh, I hope I didn't say Mini Cooper. Anyways, not a big mistake. Uh, it does have decos in the back. Let me cast a shadow so maybe you can see a little better. Pretty cool. It's got window trim. That's nice. Nice rubber tires. Has a decoration on the hood. Looks like a suitcase. Did give it headlights. Now this model here, uh, this one's been changed, but back then it was a pop-off. You see that right there? You can move that latch. Let me see how well I can do this. You can move the latch. Gotta get your finger in there. Pop the latch. There you go. Yeah, it's a pop-off and there you go. This makes it easy to customize. You just pop this off and then you can paint this however you want. But not anymore. If you pick, if you pick up a, a newer version, uh, actually for quite a few years now, they got rid of that uh, feature. They put it, yeah, hook the front first and then you pop the back. Pop off. Pop on. Only two licenses left, Ghostbusters. And then I'll get to the uh, Batman models. Here's three different packages. This one's my favorite. It was the first one they issued. The only thing is they, they, they reissued it several times. So if you thought it was going to be a collectible, uh, you know, they issued this a lot of times. That's all right. Whatever, Mattel, they own the company. They can do what they want. But I'm not going to keep buying them for new artwork every time. Pretty cool on top. It says, we're back. And they decorated the accessories. This was in the basics too, actually. Um, only one time, uh, only for one assortment. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much it was in the cases or not. I was not doing unboxing videos at the time. There you go. You can see the decorations. Definitely, definitely love having the ectos. Lots of Batman releases. I'm gonna have to do them all individually, or at least pair them up. This was the first packaging. If you want to get the first, a lot of people, they like having the first release. That's the one you're going to want. Classic TV series Batmobile. But this card art is pretty cool. There's a look at the original and the one with the colorful packaging. Kind of had like a metal flake paint. Different wheels. You know, that's what they do, right? Even when they issue it in the basics, they keep doing recolors. Uh, that's okay. Let's see. Uh, which is which one? Which one of these were in the basics? You'll be able to tell real quick. Yeah, that one. Plastic tires keeps rolling. That being said, love, love, love it being in the basics. The only thing is, it's another one. They release a lot, a lot of times. Special Batman sets. Oh my, oh my! It's been released so many times. This is the basic release. Basic wheels, plastic base. Let's go ahead and get the one that was in that first package. Here you can see the wheels. You have your uh, chrome hubs. So that was probably blurry. Anyways, this is the car. It was so cool when they announced. This was in the basics, of course. I just showed you this one. I don't know if this was the first release with those wheels. Don't know. But when they announced that this was going to be released, it, I think it was the first TV Batmobile that had been released as a, uh, uh, a toy model in decades. And that's because, uh, you know, Mattel was saying that there was lots of haggling over 
who owned the rights to the Batmobile? Was it Barris? Was it the, the TV studio, uh, television studio? That's what they were saying. Uh, so forever they were uh, haggling over who had the rights and rubber tires. Metal base. Hey, easy. Metal base. DC. Oh, yeah. Or does DC Comics have the rights to the Batmobile? So it, it was really exciting, to be honest with you. When they announced that this was going to be released and as a uh, Hot Wheel, it was so exciting. Uh, it was really exciting at the time. So to get it with uh, rubber tires, yeah, that's very good, too. These three packages, Batman v Superman on the left, and on the right, Justice League. Mm, in the middle, I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like uh, Batman v Superman. I can see Superman in the logo there. This was another time when the model was basically just reissued in a uh, slightly different color. So uh, I'm out of that game. Well, if you like to collect the card art, it's cool. But uh, I'm, it's like, well, which one did I buy before? And then I already put them away. I'm not sure which one I had already bought. This one's cool for Justice League because he actually has a weapon on top. You see the turret? It's pretty much the same model, the same design, but this does have a turret on top. I opened up one of the ones without the turret uh, before that one was released. That one was a newer, it's the newest one. Love the tires, big fat tires on there. Now that I think about it, uh, Wow, did they do Tumblr in the package, in the retro style package? Hmm, I wonder where that one is. I might be missing one. That's okay. Here's a camo version. But did they release a black one? Uh, I'm not sure. Another reason I stopped doing the unboxing videos is because the uh, 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 diecast dealer was going to get a whole wave of uh, special retros. They were going to get the whole case code. So in order for me to do the case unboxing video, I was going to have to buy it from them. And then I'm basically promoting a diecast dealer because they're the only ones who are going to have that, that uh, batch of cars. Uh, that was another reason why I stopped. I should say another reason why I stopped doing the case unboxing videos. Um, but as far as uh, another reason to stop buying the cases, yeah, same, same model. Uh, it looks like the same color tires. Uh, this one says Batmobile. This one says Batman Returns Batmobile. But otherwise, they're pretty much the same. And next to the uh, the TV series Batmobile is definitely my favorite. This is my number two favorite, and it is uh, right there. I mean, we're neck and neck with the bo with both of them. But because I'm a kid from the 60s, the TV Bat's going to be my favorite. Oh, yeah, I, I showed you early in the video, I showed you those two from Aquaman. Well, guess which Batmobile's in that set? And uh, I'm pretty sure it looks it looks like it's the same. Another reissue, same color, same wheels, same rims. That's all right. I know this was a very long video. Uh, I haven't done a collection video in quite some time. I thought before I let these things go, I thought it'd be cool to put them in a video. I might actually break them up into individual. I might do separate videos focusing on just certain ones. But I might put them on another channel. When I do, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.